At QAV, it's all about experiencing the difference. And at Broadman, they've championed the motto, rediscover the pleasure. And boy, what a pleasure it's gonna be today to unbox these beautiful VC7s. Can't wait to get into it. I'm Tyson Rabney with Quality Audio Video here in Centennial, Colorado. We're at the showroom and we are unboxing the phenomenal Broadman Acoustics BC7s today. This is gonna be an absolute treat. Now, as we were gonna make some tweaks and changes to the showroom, which we knew were coming at the end of 2020, we wanted to add a few nice touches here and there. The Broadman VC7s that are sitting here in front of us were definitely one of the ways that we were gonna do that. Fun fact, these speakers traveled 5,280 miles to the Mile High City, all the way from Vienna, Austria, where they were hand built. This is an extremely rare opportunity to unbox these. It's an absolute pleasure. The main reason is the finish. These were selected in white ebony, which is the rarest veneer that you can get. And not only are these in white ebony, they're in the absolute highest quality that you can get. It is piano grade finish, and I just can't wait to see it. So this pair of VC7s is finished with white ebony, which is a wood from Southeast Asia and is one of the most difficult, perplexing woods to work with. And you'll find it going to guitars and pianos and in this case, speakers. What's really cool about Broadman, if you're new to the brand, is the company's been around for centuries. They started in 1796 and Ludwig Be Beethoven was actually one of their first customers. <laughs> this pair is insane. Like the look, the level of craftsmanship, the finish is absolutely insane. Oh, my mind's blown. So the finish is white ebony, extremely rare. And the other reason it makes it so difficult to get a really high grade of it is it's gotta be stored at a very particular uh, temperature and level of humidity. So it's one of the veneers that Broadman does not bother to stock on hand. They'll go to the market like they did with this pair and they'll actually go to the place in the world that have the highest grade of white ebony and they'll actually walk it in person and hand select it. And the things they're looking for are the, the veins, the markings, as well as symmetry. So what we'll likely find, what Broadman will usually do is they will mirror a pair of speakers on each face of the veneer. So when you have them actually set out, you'll actually have a mirror split image of the veneer, which is extremely labor intensive to pull that off. Um, and in rare occasions with certain veneers, you'll actually have it mirrored along the center symmetry line of the tweeter. Um, but in most cases, this is what you'll find is the look for that, that pattern and you know, it's mother nature. So it's, it's not exactly repeatable and every piece is totally unique. So the Broadman logo here, just like they do in their pianos, is actually floating in the seven layers of lacquer that they put here. So the way they do it is they put seven layers of lacquer and about halfway through they drop in the metal logo. And then they let the, um, the lacquer harden for several weeks. And then at that point in time, you cannot see the logo. It's not until it's completely polished and you start to get it to this level and then that logo appears. And it's actually just sitting there floating in between the base layer of veneer and the final seventh layer of lacquer. The other kind of fun thing here too is um, with the logo, because it's floating in between layer one and layer seven of the lacquer, if you rub your finger across it, you can barely just feel the metal right there, because the level of polish that they had to take away before it actually starts to get to the point where you can feel that. You see that? That's crazy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So the other thing you have here is a traditional black piano finish, which of course Broadman is gonna be exceptionally well known for. They do make pianos as well. And what you're really looking at is a black mirror, right? So they wanna get it so perfect that the level of polish is such that if you put your hand in front of it or your face or you look into it, your reflection is there seen just like a mirror. It's completely amazing. 
Okay, so by this point, people are probably wondering what do these cost? So in the US market, um, the standard finish is piano black. Broadman BC7s in piano black will go for 19,000. If you do it in piano white, uh, it's actually a little bit more difficult for them. They actually shut down the factory. Um, they need a sterile environment, much like a clean room, so that no particles and different things from the colored veneers get into the white. So it takes a little bit more time, it's a little bit more labor intensive. So that will add $3,000 for piano white. And if you want one of the specialty models with different veneers, or you can do like gold trim and different things that they can kind of um, trick them out with, that will range anywhere from $25 to $30,000 US. And so this model in the white ebony would be on the upper end of that spectrum due to its rarity and complexity to work with. So this pair is $30,000 retail US. All right, so the Broadman BC7s and White Ebony are officially unboxed and available for live demo at the QAB showroom in Centennial. I personally couldn't be happier with the result. They look phenomenal. Um, you know, we were just chatting about people's initial reactions when they're introduced to um, a level speakers like this. You know, Broadman's thing is rediscover the pleasure. Personally, I think it puts you right back in the, in the seat of a live concert performance. Uh, with COVID and everything else, you can't go out and uh, go to a concert. This kind of brings it home to you, which is pretty cool. So definitely come by, check it out, experience the difference, and we'll see you soon. Signing off, Tyson with Quality Audio Video in Centennial, Colorado.